I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It. Today we are testing super glue on various different types of filaments, PLA, PETG, and TPU. But before we do that, make sure you like and follow. <laughs> Superglue is one of the most versatile glues for 3D printing, and that's from everything from assembling to actually doing repairs. It's one of the fastest setting glues and can be used on PLA, PETG, but we're also going to test it on TPU. I've never done that before. I'm not really sure how it's going to handle the flexibility of TPU, but let's see. So in this test, we're going to take our bike handles, we're going to clean them up a little bit, and we're going to glue them together. Then we're going to see if we can bend them apart and see if we could separate the super glue. And we're going to do this for each type of material. So let's talk a little bit about super glue while we're prepping these handles. Super glue provides a strong bond between 3D printed parts, ensuring durability and stability. It works with a variety of 3D printed materials. It sets quickly, allowing for rapid assembly and repair without long waiting time. It has a simple application process that doesn't require special equipment or skill. So we're going to do the snap test and see what happens. On the PLA one, I inadvertently knocked it over. And for some reason, when I tried to bond the super glue back, it wouldn't take. So I had to bond it on this thinner side. So instead of bonding it on the wider side where we bonded the other ones, this one's bonded on the thinner side. So let's see if we could do this one by snapping it. And actually, it broke pretty easily. I'm not really sure why the super glue was having so much trouble bonding to this PLA, but it was, even on the other side. Let's try the PETG. And it snapped right off. That Now that's interesting because both of these, when we've tested them other times with super glue, they've actually worked pretty well. Let's try it on the TPU. And it sort of did exactly what we expected it on the TPU. It sort of pulled apart. I didn't think it would bond too closely to this TPU. Now, I'm not really sure what would happen with the, um, the PLA or the PETG. It is super humid here. It's been raining quite a bit, so I'm not sure. But we did give this ample time to dry. I'm not really sure. Maybe what I'll try doing is bonding the other side and do another test. So I did do some quick research. I asked our friend chat if humidity plays an effect on superglue. And it does. Moderate humidity for superglue would be between about 40 and 60%. It has been raining all day. So I think that's what has caused our issue with the superglue. So we let the dehumidifier run overnight. And it seems like our super glue has bonded. So what we're going to do is we're going to perform our test. Let's start with the PLA. Twist test. Okay. Snap test. Oh. Okay. The PLA actually broke, not the super glue. The super glue didn't come apart. So the super glue held up for the PLA, which we've known from previous experiments. Okay. Now... Let's try this one. This is the PETG. Twist test working. Okay, same thing. PLA actually snapped. The super glue held. Okay, twist test on the TPU. <laughs> this is sort of a weird one because as you can see, the TPU is uh, sort of just flexing. Let's try to let's try to snap it. Okay, not so good on the TPU. It looks like the super glue did fail, which is what we sort of expected in the scenario. So let's just recap. Super glue, especially this Loctite, I love the Loctite, works really well on PLA, worked really well on the PETG. On the TPU, it held up to the twist test, but as soon as I put pressure in the other direction, we were able to uh, easily shear it apart. As you can see, it's, it's pretty clean. I hope you enjoyed this video on testing super glue on PLA, PETG, and TPU. For more videos on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making. <laughs>